And we back with another episode of Sack School here on The Volume. I'm Vach Lombardi, and today we're going to be looking at Hassan Reddick, formerly of the Carolina Panthers, but now he's a Philadelphia Eagles, so we'll be watching with that context. Got about five or six of his sacks, and, you know, we're just going to break down the technicalities of him and how he won in those situations, and it should be fun. Now, if you happen to have the attention span of a blind person in a library, it's cool. I'm going to roll these clips that's used in the film session today. You can feel free to just mute me, rewind, fast forward, whatever you got to do. But if you appreciate the details and the nuance of breaking down film then just hang around and we're going to be doing that for the duration of the film session so that being said let's get started so Hassan Reddick kind of has this this uh, this one superpower that he branches his other wins off of. Like he always starts with ball get off, right? His his ball get off, his quickness, his relentlessness upfield. He starts with that, and then he takes that and transitions that, uh, or or he weaves these other moves into that, or he sets people up with those moves. But right now, let's start off with just ball get off, right? Just simple quickness at the line of scrimmage, just getting off the ball and smoking. Boy, and, and look, it, it's it's interesting. It's it's funny that you know he's doing this versus the Eagles or whatever. And, you know that's that's fun for me as a Cowboy fan watching the Eagles get smoked. But he's an Eagle now, so uh, that's something that me and my team got to be worried about. But this is this is easy, and this is the first thing that they teach you when you go to when you go to pass rusher class. You know they teach you to watch the ball and get off of it. So um, Hassan Reddick, this is his first thing. He's super explosive off off of that first step, and uh, that's how he sets up the rest of his moves. I even like this. Take, you know, watch this. He he clearly had the. Uh, uh, had the win from the jump with the ball get off but just in case there was going to be any any pressure from the right hand of the offensive lineman which is the outside hand i always tell you to defeat the outside hands just in case there was going to be any type of turbulence from the outside hand Hassan reddick was ready to swipe that down and defeat it so i do like that but let's take a look at another play so look take a look at this play we got Hassan reddick on the left side here now I, at first i looked at this and i didn't think that this was anything you know to talk about Hassan reddick for i just thought that this was just terrible technique by the right tackle but just think about it right um first of all th this lunging this leaning is terrible this isn't even like proper quick setting technique he's just lunging out there right um but the reason why i do give hassan uh um, reddit credit for this is because you know the the right tackle probably you know acted in that way because hassan reddick had probably been smoking the hell out of him with speed or his ball get off or his quickness upfield the whole game um so if you if if, if there's this threat that this pass rush is going to smoke you upfield with quickness maybe you got to overcompensate your game to account for that and, and that's what i think ultimately at the end of this the right tackle did uh to try to block the sign red he ended up lunging and reaching to try to get hands on him because he had been threatened with a quick upfield presence the whole game and this is definitely evidence of I've been kicking your ass outside the whole game. Take a look at Hassan Reddick over on the left side versus the left tackle here. Um, he's going to start off upfield, but he's poof. What it come, come on, son. <laughs> but but th this is what happens when you when you work it when you work a move you work a move and then you get the other you know side you know reacting to it you can then react off their reactions or you can start to set them up so if i know that you're gonna overcompensate just give me the inside because you're scared of my outside rush look at look at look at humphreys right now right humphreys is looking over here but he eventually is gonna start staring down the sign ready he even starts rocking a little bit look at humphreys just rocking a little bit just getting ready to get out there just to gallop out there and open up his hips this is terrible you know by Humphreys or whatever you want to be a little more patient than this but look at how much space he gave Reddick to work on the inside so if you're Reddick all you got to do is plant your feet and do some move to get back inside you know it could be a rip it could be a dip but this time it is a swim over the top uh he uh he swims over the uh the uh, top of Humphreys and man, you know Cole McCoy just end up getting smoked we got a good little sack form but here fantastic even when Hassan Reddick was in temple right because you know I'm draft guy and I've been watching these guys for a long long time even when Hassan Reddick was in temple he was high effort guy and I always you know give guys credit for their relentless pursuit because there's a thin line between effort sacks and relentless pursuit I think this is relentless pursuit now first of all the tackle is doing a terrible job at helping James Conner deal with this dude but it is what it is um but you know even kind of getting stopped on the front end of this rush we get a little holding call so for hassan even getting uh this sack and still getting held hassan deserves an and one right here so we get the holding call and you could stop right here hassan already could easily stop at this point in the rush but no no hassan's gonna get back up he's gonna put uh he's gonna put some additional rush on the quarterback and he ends up getting the sack with the and one because there was holding 
Oh, I just love this. I just love this. This the Eagles too? Hey, look, turn down the music. Let's watch this in Silencio, man. We ain't, we ain't doing nothing else. Just, just, just look at this, man. Look at look at Hassan Reddy versus uh, what's his face. Just, just, just look, look at this. Let's just watch it together as a family. Look at it. <laughs> Let's come back, man. Hold on, wait a minute. Look at it one more time. Look at it one more time. <sighs> Let me tell you what Hassan Reddick did right here, right? Man, we know, you know, that Hassan Reddick is smoking people via ball get off and outside, you know, quickness and things like that. But um, I love the technique here. Love me some good technique here. Hassan Reddick, pardon me, let me go back. Hassan Reddick comes off the line of scrimmage. And we're gonna see Hassan get hands on the inside right now. This this looks like Hassan was reading as if he was two gapping. And look, it was play action down bottom. So Hassan is doing the right thing by, you know, attacking the run on the way to a pass rush, right? He's reading run first. Um, but then when he sees that Jalen Hurts goes from the mesh point to passing um, passing posture, right? Um, his hand is up as if he's ready to pass, then now Hassan Reddick is ready, is ready to attack. So Hassan Reddick, while it's in run mode, hands inside, we got cloth in our hands, we're ready to do something with it. Hassan could go either side is what it looks like he's doing. Uh, this, ain't a, this ain't an odd front, so I doubt that he's too gapping, but he still was reading the front as if he was in his run defense mode, right? But as soon as Jalen Hurts put his hands back up to, to passing game posture, Hassan Reddick is gonna pull that cloth. And you can actually see the jersey getting ripped into the shadow realm right now. Like if you just zoom in to, to like the right side of the offensive lineman's jersey right there, Hassan Reddick is about to snatch the hell out of this and boom, he's gonna end up getting free. Let's watch it one more time without me pausing just so we can get the good feel of, uh, of uh, you know, Reddick pulling down, pop, the right tackle, right? just pop. Mm, good little cloth pull right there. Fan, fan, I just love, I, I love a good cloth pull, man. One more for the road, pull. <laughs> All right, let's get up out of here, man. Hey, um, Hassan Reddick is a fun player to watch, man. Fun, fun player to break down. Like I said earlier, man. You know, be, me being a Cowboy fan, um, it's it's always helpful to to learn what the uh, what the opposite side is doing, so or what the ops are doing. So, uh, you know, H H Hassan Reddick's a, a cool player, fantastic player. I didn't even think that he was top ten in sacks. I think he tied at eleven uh, with like. I don't know, Matt Judon or um, Harold Landry or something like that. One of them guys he like tied with, but he's basically top 10 in sacks. So um, Hassan Reg, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you like content like this, go in the comment section and tell me that you like content like this. And then not only that, tell me what team you like. What team are you gonna be representing this NFL season? Cause uh, I go live here Monday through Friday uh, at, at uh, 3 p.m. Central on the volume, but I normally do Cowboys content, but I think there's room for me to do general NFL stuff, especially in NFL film sessions like this so uh this is fun for me i hope it was fun for you so uh hey man tell me who your team is so we can break down some of this stuff be sure to hit like and follow on all of the volumes pages whether it be social media and youtube also but then follow me on twitter also at uh, vach lombardi v-o-c-h-l-o-m-b-a-r-d-i with that being said y'all hold it down for the doski welsh and the peace until next time love y'all volume <laughs>